So we'll get to see Zane Washington tonight. Parker Cadu steps in, first pitch from Holman. This is for ball one. We are underway in the nightcap from Tuscaloosa. The one-two from Holman. It's a swing and a miss. Toss down to first base. Not necessary. First strike out of the night for Luke Holman. Jarvis late on the 96 mile an hour fastball, and that's exactly what we were talking about from Jacob Myers. Strike three. Got him with the bender. What a start to this game for Jacob Myers. But he got these guys to believe. There's a called strike three. Felix goes away looking. Boys, when he said that, what was your thoughts? I mean, and he goes, this ball ripped down the right field line. That ball's got a chance. That ball leaves the yard. That's a solo home run from a Craig Kendrick, his fifth of the year, and Nichols strikes first. He ambushed that one. And the crowd from Nichols above the first base dugout on their feet with plenty to cheer about here in the top of the second inning. You're right, Richard. Jumps right all over. That's a belt high fastball. And he hooks that ball. And, all right, we're going to we're going to win a conference tournament. We're going to go to a regional. This ball lifted the opposite way. That stays fair. West Toops going to try and turn it into two. He'll go into second base standing. And now back to back base hits for Nichols. A home run down the right field line. And a little lob shot double down the left field line. Full we'll count once again to Amundsen. Good at bat going. And he takes just off the plate. Cadu chases the breaking ball, but it goes to the backstop, and both runners move up on the wild pitch. Very locked in in these first couple of innings. Elevates the fastball again, and Cadu goes down swinging. A baseball player is as well put together as anyone you will find. And he draws a walk to start the second inning. There it is, called strike three. So after being erratic with the first three in the at-bat, here's Ed Johnson from the right side. Pinckney goes, throw to second, goes out into center field, and now Pinckney's going to get an extra base on the throwing error. Stolen base for Andrew Pinckney. Swing and a miss. Johnson goes down swinging. That's back-to-back -back strikeouts, and now four in the game from Myers. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Full count pitch. Check swing, roller left side. Fielded by Kane. Throws on the run in time. They get William Hamner. Some thought maybe a little underseated, even. St. Washington goes after the first pitch. He drives it out to right field, and that's just over the glove of Pinckney. And Washington goes into second base with a stand-up double. He hit that ball a ton the other way. Nichols leading at 1-0. Another 2-2. Two -two. Nubber. Washington not going to be able to try to come home on that. Too close to... The mound at home plate, Austin Kane, ahead of the count, 1-0. Oh. Lifts this one, foul territory, first base side, and it's going to stay in play, and Drew Williamson makes the catch up against the net. Strike three called. He paints the inside corner at the belt. Late on the fastball. Got a piece of it. He said he held on. Defensive team this year. First Alabama first baseman to ever earn that honor. And he goes away looking. I asked him if there was any kind of a recruiting battle. He said he had no offers. Not only did he not have any Division I offers, he had no junior college offers. Nichols said, we want it badly of our fans for this team as they've continued to win games. And they've had this magical season. Parker Cadu rips that one into the right field corner. Trying to turn it into two. The throw to second. There's the arm from Pinckney. That is outfield assist number six on the year. I'm sticking with the pitchers. This was ripped out into right field. That is a base hit. Just fair. Zane Washington may get a chance. He bobbles it. Not going to have a play at second. Going to try to turn it into three. Throw comes all the way to third base. But Shelton just beats it with a head first slide. I, I, I would have made you uncomfortable. <laughs> the way he looked was woof. This ball lifted in the air to left. On the run is Felix. He's going to make the catch in the shy of the warning track. 
Sacrifice fly for Ed Johnson drives in his 41st run of the year. Shelton comes home to score, and we've got a new ball game, one apiece here in Tuscaloosa. That one's in the dirt. It's a breaking ball strikeout. This ball hit well to deep center field. Going back is Caden Rose, still going back at the wall. Can't haul it in. Off of his glove. Going to try for three. Alvarez headed toward third. Here comes the throw. It's offline. And that's a leadoff triple for Edgar Alvarez. He hit that ball a ton to straightaway center field. See if he'll go. This ball lifted toward right field. That's going to be deep enough that even though Pinkney hauls it in, you're not going to have any chance for a play at the plate. Sacrifice fly for Villarreal. His 31st RBI of the year, and it's now 2-1 to one Nichols. This ball ripped to left field. That one's going to go all the way to the wall. One hopper against the wall. Caden Rose goes into second with a leadoff double for Alabama here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Ed Johnson got a sack fly to score, and this one hunted perfectly. Runner at third base. So runner at third with less than two outs. Alabama going to try to play some situational baseball and tie this game at two. One down in the inning, runner at third. And Seidel chases one out of the zone. Drew Williamson at the plate, 0 for 2, with a couple of strikeouts looking. He goes after the first pitch, rips it into the right field corner. That's a ground rule double, and Alabama ties it at two. RBI number 59 on the year for Drew Williamson, and once again, I'll say it again, we've got a new game. Big Drew Williamson, big country right there, jumps all over the first pitch. Bama had been taking a lot of first pitch. That's probably his worst slide, a little 80 mile an hour hanger right in the middle part of the plate. Again, the fifth year senior, a five year starter. Coming from Jacob Myers to Andrew Pinckney. And it misses. And for the second time tonight, Pinckney draws a walk. Shelton draws the walk. He comes from an athletic family. The 2 2 pitch, the base is loaded to Johnson. Ground ball, fielded by Galley, flips to first, and Alabama leaves them loaded. Galley does exactly what he's supposed to do, strands the runners. And he hits this one high in the air to right field. Pinckney going back to the wall. That ball is gone. Wes Toops with his sixth home run of the year. It's a two for three night. Picks up RBI number 20. And Nichols goes back in front. Ninety-five. Oh, a little slider. I thought it was a fastball. Slider stays up. Tubes does what he does. That's the second extra base hit. Had the double. Now he's got him a homer, and the Colonels are back in front. One-two pitch. Strike three called. What a good pitch there from Cade Woods. Got one hit tonight. It was a hit where he tried to stretch a single into a double. He gets called out on a check swing there. Couldn't hold up. I don't think Kadu agreed that he went around. See that from his reaction. We'll take another look. Yeah, live. Yeah, and I say Ooh. live. I don't think he did either. And you can see right there the shock. I mean, that's the frustration. Goes down swinging here on three pitches. Gassetti rips this one down the left field line. That's got a chance. It is fair. It is fair, and it is a home run, and we are tied at three. Gassetti has had some big moments this year. He hit a go-ahead home run in game three of the series against Vanderbilt, and that is a big one to tie the score at three. Here at the bottom of the seventh. We well, got a little dinger party here in Tuscaloosa, and that's the part where, hey, if the ball's not flying deep in the air, you got to keep it low. Sneaks it down the line. A little Carlton fist from the catcher right there. He's just kind of watching it down the line. Once it goes out, tosses the bat. Facing Austin Kane, who's 0 for 3. Kane, base hit up the middle. 
one out over the plate, and just drove it right back through the box. Two out. Trying to give Alabama a chance to take the lead for the first time tonight. Strike three call, drops in the breaking ball. Throws Felix, and Davis does his job out of the pin. And Seidel rips one down the left field line. That's going to be extra bases all the way into the corner. Tommy Seidel with a leadoff double. Cues it back to the mound. A look to third, but instead they go to first for the first out of the inning. Going all the way to first base. Infield in. No chance to score the run from third. Could do over to Alvarez. Colby Shelton now at first. First pitch to Johnson, chopped to third, fielded by Kane, over to Alvarez. Alabama strands a couple, and we have a tie game. That is a three-pitch strikeout. You win the trophy, okay, it certainly was worth it. But there are a lot of teams that have found value in, you go over there, you play a couple of games. High leverage game in the ninth inning. Runner goes, throw to second. Jarvis makes the tag. It was on the right side of the second base back, so a little bit of a sweep tag after the catch. You know, wear them however you want to. I'm not sure we can call those baseball pants for <laughs> Basil Williams. His one, two, goes down swinging. Look at the emotion from Alton Davis. Braden Turnage is the backup catcher. That's a four-pitch walk to start off the bottom of the ninth inning. Tipped his hand yet, looks like he was about to. He lays down a bunt, first base side, fielded by the pitcher and a tag. Well, that's an easy way to get it out there. 2-2, Two -two, swing and a miss. That is a big second out. He hits it hard on the ground through the left side. Hammeter hits the bag at third. Throw comes toward the plate, it's offline. And Alabama walks it off for the first time this season. They will play Troy tomorrow night to try to advance to a regional final. Nichols let it all hang out tonight. They come up a little short at the end as Jim Jarvis drives in his 29th run of the season.